Welcome, this is 49i1 and the title is the definition of electric current. So this is talking about current measured in amps. What we say is the current I, C has been used for both coulombs and capacitance. So we need a new letter so we're calling it I. The current I is the rate at which charge flows through the surface area. So it doesn't matter what the area is, it's just a measure of how many coulombs per second pass the area. Area I is defined as being the amount of charge flowing per second. Uh, current is measured in amps, which one amp equals one coulomb per second. And the direction of current flow is taken to be the direction of flow of the positive charge. Yes, we know from a, a material point of view that it's actually the electrons that do the conducting. But this was decided before we knew that. And it's an abstract idea, so we don't worry about it. Um, okay. So let's look at a few examples. So here we have a circuit. Electricity flows in loops. If you get a dead end in the in the circuit, it doesn't it doesn't work. Um, so okay, we have a power supply. Could be a battery. Could be a power supply. It's DC. It's not AC. It's it's one end's positive and the other end's negative. And the positive end is if you like driving the current around the circuit. And it gets to the resistor, and in comparison with the wires, the resistor resists the flow of electrons, whereas we take the wire as just allowing the flow of electrons. If you like, think of the power supply or the battery as being a water pump. Think of the wires as big, fat, conducting water pipes. And think of the resistor as a tiny little straw, and that tiny little straw resists the flow of, of current. In this question, we say 12 coulombs of charge flows around a circuit in four seconds. What is the average current that flows around the circuit? So my charge is equal to 12 coulombs. And my delta T, if you like, is equal to four seconds. And I, well, let's call this delta Q. And we can say that my current is equal to the amount of charge that flows in a certain time. So my I is equal to 12 over 4, which equals 3 coulombs per second. But we name that as 3 amps, 3 amperes, named after ampere. Then the second part is a student measures the charge delta Q that passes a specific point on a circuit, point P, in a time interval delta T. And then how does the current I relate to all or some of these parameters? So let's make a list of the parameters. We have the amount of charge is delta Q. And we have the amount of time is delta T. And we want to know our current. And what this is saying is, oh, how do these relate to each other? I is equal to dQ by dt, which is that guy there. And just to fill things in, if I'd said, how does I relate to delta t? you would have said I is equal to dQ by dt. So we would say, oh, interesting. I is equal to, well, for a given uh, amount of charge, dQ, 1 over delta t. So that would be an inverse relationship. As the amount of time needed to get a certain amount of charge through the system increases, so the current decreases. Interesting. It's good. It's a good plan. So just practice going backwards and forwards between equations 
and grass. They mean the same thing. So just get comfortable going backwards and forwards. There we have it.